besides the modules that come with ozone so if we click over here for example add a dynamic eq or add whatever module you want besides these modules you can also use your own vst plugins right within ozone so that's what we're going to look at here so in order to use your vst plugins you have to make sure you have that set up and by the way this is only applicable for the standalone version of ozone this does not work if you have it hosted in for example pro tools so here we are in pro tools we have ozone up if i choose an empty module space i don't have the ability to load a vst within uh within ozone but if you look at the standalone version over here we have this plugins section so let's get pro tools out of the way so here's the standalone version if you want to use your vst plugins just head over here to where it says plugins right after you choose an empty module place just choose plugins so now we don't see anything so click your gear icon and this is what this plugin tab here looks like by default so it only added the vst plugins location program files vst plugins so we can actually add other file paths so if i hit scan here make sure we have vst check there we'll go ahead and scan through our vst plugins folder but what if we have vst plugins in other areas which i do a lot of us have our vst plugins in the steinberg folder so in order to add whatever vst plugin folder you want just choose add and for a lot of people it's going to be on c and then on program files and then come down to steinberg right there and choose vst plugins now if you have other locations you can add them in the same exact way just choose okay very good make sure this box is checked and you can scan plugins and that's it just click okay and now you can see all of the plugins that are being scanned so we might just have to wait a little bit before we have access to all of our vst plugins and there we go as you can see they've all been scanned through now if, if for whatever reason it seems to be taking a very long time like a very like 30 minutes you might want to close ozone down and then open it back up okay and it, it should continue uh, scanning then but now just as if we were going to add a module included within ozone now we can also master or you know whatever you want to do in here with your own vst plugins so just choose plugins and whatever your favorite plugins are waves plugins aren't showing in here uh by the way for anyone uh, wondering i'm on pc by the way uh, maybe i want something from neutron okay maybe i want the neutron 2 equalizer just double click loads it right up in the into that slot there we go so now we can of course play the music back and use the eq that's uh, with with neutron advanced if you want free floating window you can solo just as you can the other modules you can bypass it and you can of course remove it just like that that's all you really have to do for whatever you want you can even throw in more of the ozone 8 plugins right right into uh, ozone 8 so maybe you want another eq boom throw that right in so you have your eq here and your eq here and of course we can add more than just one so maybe i have a favorite plugin down here that i want to use no problem maybe a delay probably wouldn't want to use a delay but for whatever reason you could do that go through all of your vsts whatever you really like to use and load it up right here so maybe a certain reverb double click it comes right up click another empty slot and we'll go up here maybe we'll look for something else maybe a channel strip load that up here so now we can master or do whatever you want here in ozone with your favorite plugins
So that's all there is to it. All you need to remember is make certain that you scan the correct path at all the paths that you want, your VST paths. Scan your plugins, and you can use your VST plugins right here in Ozone.